look at my little kick. Isn't he just the sweetest? my channel so today um it's wednesday um i seem to like vlogging on wednesdays um but today i thought i'd film because usually on days like this i don't tend to do this sort of thing um so essentially yesterday wasn't the greatest day for me to put it lightly um so i'm feeling a little bit like mentally drained, mentally low, feeling quite like, I don't know. So essentially I thought I would film today because I'm feeling really low but I also have a lot of uni work that I need to do so I thought it'd be interesting to show you how I manage my time especially in days where I have things that I really need to do. I need to pack a bag or a few bags, <laughs> my gym bag, um, a bag to stay at Elliot and my uni stuff um, so I have all of that stuff that I can use at his house yeah I also just wanted to show you my outfit because it's really cute so I'm wearing my butterfly camo set which sadly I've only worn once since I've bought which is so frustrating because I absolutely love it as much as I have loads of gym wear, I reach for the same things every single time, which is such a bad habit. But yeah, I need to get packing because Elliot's probably going to be on his way soon and my room is just a little bit of a state. God, I'm so sweaty. That's actually disgusting. I didn't realise how sweaty my hair was. I've just touched it. That's gross. That was a really good session. I feel a bit better. It's not going to magically fix all my problems, is it? No. But I'm going to have a protein bar as a little bit of a snack because we're going straight to walk the dog. So you're going to need a walk. So I might actually have to have an app today. Because <laughs> I went to bed later than I normally do and slept in to the same normal time as I normally do. So, you know, backing on hours of sleep. a lot later now. Quarter to three and I'm only just sitting down to do stuff but that's okay. We're all fine. As I was saying, I'm gonna stick um, a study with me on and we'll start writing my assignment that's due on the 1st of March. Um, got to write a 1,500 word essay so it's really small actually. Um, but the problem is, the fact it's so small, it's going to be hard to write. So yeah, that's the plan. I've been doing some painting. <laughs> we like children. We like children. Food. Well, yeah, shopping. Somewhere for the rainbow? No, we're not singing that song. <laughs> of all the songs you could have picked, not that one right now. They're in the door, you love it. I found them. See you later, Lolo. You're good. Yeah. That's not very nice. Outside, it's not very nice. Oh, Ooh, it's raining too. <laughs> Absolutely not. Let me in. Oh. So we're off to Morrison's to get some food, aren't we? We're off to Morrison's. Sorry. We're off to Morrison's. Food. I did a grand total of probably 50 minutes-ish of writing my essay. I wrote point one, um, well paragraph one and paragraph two-ish. And then I also found the sources I want to put into paragraph 2. So I would call that productive. 
I'm um, 550 words in. So that's a better start than I was yesterday. It is the next day. Um, I didn't film anything for the rest of the day just because I don't know, I was feeling a bit meh. I mean, I know this is the whole point of it, but I was quite tired and didn't do anything else for the rest of the day. However, this morning I woke up with my period, so that's just even more great. Um, probably explains a lot. To be fair. Hello. <laughs> you can't see. Yeah. But I'm going to do a home workout because my back really hurts and I really don't want to go to the gym. So yeah, that's basically the tea for this morning. This is my outfit for the home workout. I was going to wear this to the gym obviously, I'd packed it for the gym but oh well, it's still cute nonetheless. So yeah. Workout is all for me. This is my outfit for today. Um, considering I didn't plan on viewing a house, I feel like my brain just sort of knew something would be happening today. Isn't that right? What? I feel like my brain must have known something was going to happen today because I've actually packed a pair of jeans and a different coloured top <laughs> that looks better. So, go me or go my sixth sense. I mean, I think it would have been alright, whatever, whichever. True, true that. Anyway, uh, we're off to give a uh, little Lola a little run around. And then we're going to go and view a house. I don't know what we're going to do for lunch. Well, we'll cross that bridge with we'll yeah. after the meeting. Maybe Considering we'll my period really hurts me today, I did a pretty decent workout. I was going to do more, but I've got a bit of a throbbing headache. Well, while I was doing it, I had a bit of a throbbing headache, so just listened to my body, took it easy. Yeah. What are you doing? Trying to get a computer to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the easiest of things in the world. Cool. <laughs> House update. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, that changed. We might have bought a house. Big things. I wasn't gonna film this video. This video wasn't gonna film today, essentially, if I can stand you up. But I've changed my mind a little bit. Yesterday I had a really, um, a really horrible day, if to put it lightly. It's kind of been building up for about three weeks, I'm not gonna lie to you. I felt this sort of like, I don't know, it's very strange. It will be good for me to film um, an honest kind of video of like, no one's always happy and smiley and I can assure you yesterday, I wasn't happy and smiley. Yeah, whatever happened yesterday, I just felt, I don't know, the reason why, I'm getting emotional even talking about it, but whatever happened, I just felt quite scared to be honest, and I'm still a little bit like, what the fuck? <laughs> However, today we are taking it easy. I'm gonna go to the gym, because I enjoy going to the gym. I feel like after what happened yesterday, I deserve to have a new tracksuit. So, <laughs> that's just what it is. Um, so yeah, you just gotta treat yourself when you feel like you need to. Damage in Primark. Um, yeah. Buckle yourselves in for a Primark haul and a H&M haul. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the two things I got from H&M um, are, so I've seen this on the website. So yeah, it's just this one. Um, I quite actually like these pastel colours and I think this is going to be really good for the autumn months. Autumn months? Not what I meant. I meant to say spring. Um, yeah, for the spring months. And I suppose it probably would be a good jumper for autumn months too. Um, but yeah, recently the weather in the UK has been really, really sunny. So it's coming to that really awkward part of the year where it's too cold not to wear a coat. But it's too warm to 
have so many layers. Um, I then obviously got some tracksuit bombs. I got these, so basically I saw these the other day and I was like, oh I really want them, but I wasn't sure whether yellow was quite a vibe. I was a bit like, eh. And then now I've thought about it, I was like, yellow's actually quite in this spring. My cat's tormenting my dogs. So yeah, I got those. Um, so I just picked up two of the sort of really trendy sets. Um, I have one in brown um, and I actually really like it. Um, so I picked it up in this colour. I think this is such a gorgeous colour. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I picked it up in this sort of nude colour. Uh, one, because I really need some nude underwear for my gym clothes and these underwears if that makes any sense are so comfortable i just picked up some of their like cropped little tops um i'm pretty sure they're like three pounds each yeah so they don't last a massive amount of time but i wanted to get a few just so i had them um and again the pastel yellow you can't even see that pastel yellow is so in right now i don't understand um, I then picked up two other pyjama bits. Seems like I did a pyjama shop, but it's because I'm planning soon to sort out all of my um, pyjamas because I have so many old summer pyjamas that they just don't fit me. And it's because I buy them from Primark and once you've worn them for a summer, it's kind of, that's it. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure everyone knows what I mean. So I then picked up another pair of shorts. I got these in a bigger size. I might actually regret that decision because I'm not entirely sure whether they're going to fit on my waist. However, um, if I wash these, these will shrink. Everything in Primark, when you wash it once, shrinks and everything is just so small. Especially their shorts. I just don't understand. Um, I then also saw these in the reduced section and I really wanted some new pyjama bottoms just because I use pyjama bottoms all the time and I really couldn't find any. The material is so soft. I think I could probably get away with actually wearing these out, if that makes sense. My thoughts was that these two colours would go together. Now they're not exactly the same colour. But they're not exactly not the same colour, if that makes sense. One is a little bit more pastel than the other, but I think they will work. Um, so go me. Uh, creating a matching set. Not on purpose, but I just got this um, sweatshirt. Because I actually really like sweatshirts and I don't have very many of them. I have more hoodies than I do sweatshirts. Treat myself to a new one. It just looks really nice and soft and I think it'd be... I think it'd be good so yeah i hope you enjoyed um coming along i'm not entirely sure whether this is just going to be a vlog in itself or whether i've actually included the clips beforehand probably will have but yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog um it's a bit of an honest vlog for me like i don't normally film this kind of like honesty stuff because if i'm honest with you i feel like mental health you should open up about it, but I feel like there's just a line that I just don't want to cross with YouTube and I just don't, I feel like people need to be aware that mental health can affect everybody, um, but I just think that you just need to be careful what you share on the internet. Ask yourself if you're alright and if you can't answer that honestly, then maybe that's the point of realisation, that maybe not everything it has to be okay all the time you just have to like remember that it's okay not to be okay is the moral of the story so i'm going because i keep saying i'm going but i never go <laughs> so i am going now thank you for watching um give us a like and subscribe down below and yeah bye